Hi, this is Ben Ling, and today I'm going to be talking about six things that you should buy to make more money. So, buy, I would like to change the word to invest, but it just flowed better in the, the title and the headline. So this is Ben's Business Podcast, episode number 78, and one of the first things that you don't buy to make more money is, for example, uh, a fancy watch, uh, a fancy car, because they don't, well, a car, for example, just costs money and downgrades. So what are the things that we should buy to make more money? And Or let's use the word invest rather than buy today. So buy, the word, the word buy kind of relates to things that cost money. Whereas I like the word invest much better because invest means you're going to get a return from it in some way. And one of the best ways, well, one of the six ways Number six is to invest in a good website. Invest in your website if you've got a, a website. So, for example, how, how do we invest in our website? Well, search engine optimization, better user experience to convert that traffic that a website gets into more sales, um, make it more secure to make sure the website's live all the time without it being offline because it's been hacked or it's got a virus. So good hosting, a good sort of foundation, good infrastructure behind the website to make sure, for example, you're making lots of sales of an e-commerce site. If it doesn't have good security or structure and it can fall down really easily, then you're going to lose a lot of money there. So it's worth spending that investment into a good website. Uh, good websites can make you a lot a lot more money than it costs to build them as well. So invest in a good web designer, a good website, a good website manager, and, and someone who can do your digital marketing for you that's got expertise um, above and beyond. Number five, uh, so I'm doing a countdown and uh, go, working towards my number one in things that you should invest in. So number five is systems. So the word, the, the acronym or, or for systems is save yourself, stress, time, energy, and money. Save yourself, stress, time, energy, and money. So that's what a system is. It's investing in tools and software and automation to free up your time. That's that's the key. And if we spend more time in systems to automate things to delegate things to robots now rather than, as well as people we can for example i use a lead capturing software I use call centers i use um, uh, software and plugins and extensions that i add to my google chrome i add to my website that that do a lot of things for me that i would have to do manually so all the work out the things that you're doing on your weekly basis and get note of them what how can i outsource or, or how can i automate this and put it into a system. So number four comes to outsource. So invest in outsourcing. I've spent an absolute fortune in, on Fiverr, on Upwork, investing in talent, people who are t more talented than something that I'm not good at. I've, I've invested a lot in, in local um, suppliers, service providers, uh, ed video editors, even web designers. I, I pay a full-time web developer. And I also train these people I work with on, like, on a long-term basis. So if there's someone, you actually hire someone or employ someone, this is what I'm talking about as well. So employing people as well as just subcontracting uh, random tasks out. But I do think we sh it, those sort of 10 pound tasks that we should not be doing because we, we are worth 100 pound, 1,000 pound an hour when you can outsource that uh, 10 pound an hour task to someone else. So get a list of all your 10 pound tasks and then that's the resume for someone who you can hire to do the tasks for you. So like those repeatable tasks uh, and, and tasks that uh, you should not be working on, 10 pound tasks, and outsource that. So that was number four, outsource. The other one to invest your time in number three is advertising. So advertising is an investment. It's never, it, unless you don't understand advertising. So one of the things, if you are going to invest in advertising is understand advertising, make sure you read books on it. So David Ogilvy uh, recommended this book. His book, uh, Ogilvy on advertising, is a great book. And so is this one uh, by John uh, Caples. Um, 
not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's Tested Advertising Methods. It's a very expensive book. Uh, you can't, it's out of print, so you have to spend a wee bit more to get it because it's in demand. I think I got that one for £50, so maybe like $70. Um, and I'm not sure what it is on Amazon.com, but check it on Amazon.com and Amazon.co.uk. Um, it's a, a, a great book on advertising and if you're going to spend money on advertising make sure you, you know how to do it so Google Google Ads Google AdWords so make sure you read the books and do the courses and understand because it is a minefield you can just throw money away so number three is advertising and making sure that you're getting a return on invest for that advertising that you spend money on and when you dig into how, how ad, ads work and how, how you can get a return on it and how your conversions work in A-B testing, then you can start to make money off of Google ads and Facebook ads. So obviously a bit of study up front before you spend your money on advertising to make sure you're getting return on invest. Therefore, then you can buy ads, invest in ads to get money, more money back. And once you know how to do that, you can, you're, and at the point where you don't know how to do that, you're really missing out on a massive, you're not, you're not showing up where you should be on Google and on Facebook and other areas where you should be advertising. But the reason people hold back is because they don't know if they'll make money back and they don't want, they, they, they consider the word buy rather than invest. It's, it's an investment if you know how to get return. So number two uh, on one of the things that, that will help you make more money, this might seem off topic, but it's health. So I just invest in a, in a, in a Fitbit and a, a pedometer and a step counter and heart heart rate monitor to invest more in my health. I've been getting a lot into running. I've always played football and I see when I stopped playing as much sports at one point and I was working really hard on on uh, making money on my business and I, I'll, I'll let go of um, my health for a wee bit. I, I felt my productivity and everything, the, the, the money going down as well as my health. So you have to maintain your health and that's why I've got this way up health at number two. So invest in your health, um, go to the gym. Um, but it's not just about physical health, it's mental health as well. Get, give yourself relax, relaxation time, get out of your usual habit. If, you're, if, you, spend, uh, if you work from home and you spend all day in home, uh, get out of the home uh, if you spend all day in an office get out of the office 12 hour shifts every day or over doing the same thing over and over is is bad for your mental health as well as as um, investment in your eating the right foods and doing the right exercise daily so number two invest in your health number one this is my most important one which you could probably guess by what what i'm obsessed with it which is invest in yourself Invest in yourself through books, invest in yourself through workshops, invest in yourself through meditation on your visions, invest in yourself through time for yourself, um, invest in, your time, in, in yourself through um, journaling and uh, invest in your past into your, into your future. So taking notes and then reviewing those notes and, and really making sure that you're using those notes to learn lessons from the day so reflection so uh, there's there's many ways to do that youtube is a is a great way it's a free way uh, whereas you can spend 10 grand on co courses like actually in body getting yourself down down to a, a location to be in a a full workshop environment but there is free ways to educate yourself with the internet it's, it's limitless so you can uh, educate yourself and invest in yourself with YouTube for free. You can buy courses on Udemy, which are pretty cheap. You can buy really expensive online courses. You can get to workshops, you can take courses. Uh, you can go to college, you can go to uni, but there's there's many ways to invest in yourself. Um, and I just wanted to make sure uh, I, I explained that, that it's not just reading books. It, it is largely reading books, but there's other ways to do that. that it's, it's getting clarity around what it is you actually want before you put all this action in. And it's getting, um, getting, yeah, getting clear on your definite purpose in life uh, as well as reading books and taking action. So number one, invest in yourself. I would love to hear your opinion on something, if you can leave a comment on the, below this video, on something that you think is important to invest in. So what do you think is important to invest in in order to make more money? It could be unrelated. Again, you can invest in other things. There's something that came to my mind. My laptop caused me an absolute nightmare today. So invest in a laptop to save yourself 
stress and, and time as well. So, because uh, my laptop's currently updating. So a laptop could be something uh, or other tools and software. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching on Instagram as well. This was Ben's Business Podcast, episode number 78.